Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. We have returned to the National Motor Museum in Birdwood, South Australia for a very special convoy of classic Holdens off to the Bend Motorsport Park for the OTR Super Sprint in this week's Classic Restos on the Road. <laughs> This is huge, this is exciting, it's also very emotional to see over 150 classic Holdens gathering here this morning at the National Motor Museum here at Birdwood, South Australia in the gorgeous Adelaide Hills. They're about to partake in a very special convoy to the Bend Motorsport Park to mark the final raw Holden tribute. With me now, Mark Abolo, Managing Director of General Motors Australia. How are you, Mark? Fletch, it's great to be here. How are you, mate? Good. You must feel very at home here right now. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. You know, to see this amount of passion, the amount of cars that we've got here today to start the final roar, it's just a true testament to the love that there is in this country for the Holden brand. It's unbelievable. I don't think I've ever seen the legacy stronger. It's great. It's absolutely amazing. You know, we're going to see it today as we go down to Tail and Bend for, uh, for the supercar race. Hopefully we'll get a victory as well for everyone that's here. But to see this convoy and see so many examples of Holden Heritage, it's truly wonderful. I think no matter what brand the enthusiast is into, an occasion such as as this has to uh, mark down in the history books. It's a, it's a one only. It's never to happen again. Um, it is a tug of the heartstrings, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. And look, we're celebrating 70 years of motorsport involvement. We're celebrating a brand that has so much passion, especially here in South Australia. Such a heartland for, for the Holden brand, and it is so exciting to see. Now, Mark, as, as Managing Director, uh, it's an exciting role for, for GMA, for General Motors Australia, obviously Australia and New Zealand. Um, some exciting things we can look forward to down the track? I think so. Look, we have a lot of plans and uh, it's just absolutely amazing that we can bring our fans, our loyal fans and our heritage along with us. We move into um, the Holden service side of the business. We've got a lot of growth there to do as we continue to service our 1.6 million vehicles that are out on the road with all of our service outlets. And of course, we're also starting to introduce GM specialty vehicles. And you will have seen the Chevrolet Silverado, uh, a sneak peek of the Corvette, which is coming very soon and is getting some amazing reaction. It's certainly an exciting time for General Motors, that's for sure. And as the commercials display in each episode too, uh, the importance of the certified service by Holden continuing with, of course, the AC Delco parts as well. Oh, of course, we've got a very strong presence and we plan to continue a very strong presence. We've got over 200 authorised service centres in Australia, another 50 plus in New Zealand. Yep. Certainly a very important part of the business and certainly you can see just how many cars there are on the road and we are very committed to, to servicing them. Good on your Mark, well done. Well, it's over an hour's drive you can look forward to uh, from the Adelaide Hills here to the Bend. So it's, a, it's going to be a big day and obviously there's a lot of Holden putters that are a big part of this and uh, well, it's not over yet. We've got our convoy and obviously what's waiting us at the Bend. Thank you for your time, it's been great catching up. Fletch, has been absolutely amazing. Thank Thank you so much. Thank you. This bloke here is always a pleasure. Paul Rees, the director of the National Motor Museum here in Birdwood. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Fletch. Lovely to welcome you back. Thank you. Yeah, there's been quite a few times now, and I love it each time. Absolutely. You're a great advocate for the um, for the motoring enthusiasts and the sector, mate. You do well, a great job. Well, thank you, Paul. It's not from any lack of trying. <laughs> uh, now, no, you're very trying. 
<laughs> now, this morning, this is this has got to mean a lot to you. Uh, this is your your, your home turf. Uh, you've got an historic building up there as part of the museum. The whole premises here means so much. And yeah. then to, to showcase with so many Holdens turn up, meaning just so much. How are you, how are you feeling today? Well, we, we also are arrogant enough in South Australia to think we're the home turf of Holden, you know. So it's like you go down to the, the, the early saddlery in the, in the, in the city of, uh, in the city of our, our, our great churches and uh, you will find some really deep history of connection to the Holden brand right from the very early days before it was even called that, you know. We're we're welcome. We love this. It's a great it's a great um, a great showing of early morning vehicles here, and we've got a fantastic ongoing relationship with all motoring brands. But Holden's just seems to have that extra special edge uh, in South Australia here. So we're very happy to to host this and to see it flagged off to another great motoring. Um, entity now which is growing in strength and strength which is the Ben Motorsport Park. It's fantastic. Also to the alliance with uh, General Motors Australia too with great things ahead as well. Oh absolutely yes. We have got inside the museum now 18 of what we think is the top heritage vehicles of Holden. Um, they are the milestone vehicles, the millionth this, the millionth that, but the concept vehicles. That's what people are really interested in, like the Effigy, the Hurricane, the, the GTRX, the Murano Convertible, you know, all sorts of beautiful vehicles. So that's a, an ongoing relationship. And thank you to Holden for giving us those to look after for a while. And without letting too much out of the bag, in a couple of weeks' time on Classic Restos, uh, as what Paul just mentioned with the Holden Heroes, there'll be uh, an episode um, containing that very content. So that'll be, I'll be looking forward to that one, Paul. We can't wait for you to have a look at it because I think you're going to not want to go home. <laughs> oh, love it here. It's always awesome. Paul, you've got a big day ahead of you. Uh, you've got uh, an announcement to make in front of all these people before they start their engines. Uh, thank you for your time. It's always a pleasure. Great to see you again. Good on you, Fletch. Good on you. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. I've been a motoring enthusiast all my life. My Coupe 4 is rare and very special. A real performance car with all-wheel drive grip. I'm not a car club bloke and I don't work on it myself, but I do have a great mechanic. One day, I might even get that HQ. When it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon shares your passion. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final. You can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts. Available through the Holden Certified Service Network. Having arrived at the Bend Motorsport Park, before we start, here's a little about the place. Welcome to the Bend Motorsport Park, a place where going around the bend can have two meanings. Yourself personally, or literally driving around it. And that will happen today for only a select few. This is one of Australia's newest racing circuits. It's formerly Mitsubishi Motors Australia's test track. And in February 2015, Peregrine Corporation lodged plans with the Government of South Australia to redevelop things here at Talem Bend, with construction starting in March 2016. Initially titled the South Australian Motorsport Park, by the time construction commenced, the Bend Motorsport Park name had been adopted. 
You cannot be too shy out here too on the track either. It's a 7.7 kilometre track where Scott McLaughlin holds the lap record at 1 minute 47.495 seconds back in August of 2019. This is the second longest permanent race circuit in the world behind the Nürburgring in Germany at around 25 kilometres in length. The GT circuit is used for endurance racing, specialist racing events, private hire and test days. It hosted a four hour Asian Le Mans series event in January 2020 and later today some classic Holdens will experience the track. But today, in the eyes of thousands of die-hard Holden fans here at the Bend, it's about the packed-out grandstand at Turn 17 that has been temporarily renamed Holden Heaven for this weekend only. Well, here we are at the Bend. Hello, Cara. Hello, how are you going, Fletch? Great, yourself? Good, thank you. That's good. You're dressed in theme. You're part of the era. What a beautiful car. We've got an FE Holden here from 1957. I believe it's yours. Yeah, it is my car. It's my pride and joy. <laughs> oh, I, there's no doubting that. It's it's a beautiful restoration. Tell, what can you tell us about it? Uh, so I restored it when I was 15 um, as part of a school project. Um, now it's a, it's a family car. It's been in the family since new. Uh, so I was just very fortunate that I inherited that one and decided to uh, continue its story. Cara, this is a concourse car. Yes, so I have um, tried to make it up to that standard as much as I could. Um, I have kind of some honour in my family name for that. So, um, but it was a, it was my love, and uh, fortunately, it was left in good enough condition to also be a concourse car. So, it is absolutely fantastic. In terms of history, uh, do you know much about it? It's early years. Uh, so yeah, my grandpa obviously bought it new in 57, um, so it was built in about June that year, so it's kind of a mid-run of the FEs, uh, so it's also a special sedan, so it was uh, kind of top of the range extras. Um, my grandpa wanted to upgrade, so he sold it to his dad, um, and he held on to it until the 90s when he stopped driving it, and then I inherited it in the 2000s when he went into uh, a nursing home, um, and I thought the right thing to do was to restore it to its former glory. Is he still with us? Uh, unfortunately not, but he was 100 when he passed away. Um, so he had a good in innings um, and this was kind of a bit of a memorial project for him. It doesn't get much more beautiful than this, does it? Grandfather's car and you've still got it and I can, I can see you've got that passion. It's not just a case of, oh yeah, it's a family car. This, this runs deep with you, doesn't it? Yeah, certainly. It's it's definitely been something that I enjoy telling the story and I enjoy having that uh, that heritage there that so many of the cars don't because of the amount of hands that they've gone through over the years for sure. Driving the car, how does it make you feel? Does it, does it make you imagine what it would be like to wind the clock back to 1957 at all? Uh, I definitely think it does. I think I was born in the wrong era, definitely. <laughs> um, I have a few of those moments where I think I wish I'd uh, been around when these cars came out so I could have lived that experience. But I really enjoy the kind of secondhand nostalgia that I experience when I am out. And uh, it's nice talking to people about their stories of working at Holden or having driven these cars as a kid. So, Especially now, the legacy just meaning so much to us all. Yeah, I think uh, today's been quite a, a memorable day. I just It just clocked over to zero 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 again after for the first time so um, it's uh, I think a bit of a fitting day in that sense. <laughs> Cara I think one beautiful thing about this is that while ever you're driving this car it's going to be in your family for as long as you're going to hang on to it I know that but your great grandfather will always be with you. Yeah, 100%, and that's also why we called the car George, because it's a, in a bit of his memory. Even though it's a she, George is, George is still the name that we like to call her. So, so Cara, I think in the tradition of your, of your family, your great-grandfather, your grandfather, and you keeping the car, it's a beautiful story, and I'm just so pleased that um, you could share that with us and you brought it along here today. Thank you, Fletch. Now it's time for John supporting the Holden shirt. How are you, mate? I'm great, Fletch. How are you? Good. You're having fun here today? Oh, I always love it at the Bend. Fantastic venue. Nice drive here. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, from Birdwood to here, it was really excellent. 1955 FJ. Yeah. Uh, what's the history here? 
the history of the vehicle is that uh, I bought an, a 53 FJ Special and then always had a, a love of the panel vans and utes. So I started doing the ute, found this panel. I know, John. I know why you love the panel vans, mate. Yeah, I know. It's, it's comfortable in the back, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, go on. Yeah, so we uh, started to restore the ute and the love of the panel van. I bought this one from Berry in New South Wales completely restored it and uh, never looked back it's been fantastic and now i've finished the ute so i've got the three i've got a special sedan a panel van and a ute so it's quite a prize collection i think there's something about an old vehicle that's had uh period correct sign writing there's correct. Th there's something about that yeah no, that's for sure and uh, we put our name on the side of it just to not to stand out but just to give it some sig significance because chris and myself are just passionate and and we've restored the thing from ground up ourselves and have really loved doing it. So it's, it's been a challenge. Uh, the relationships get tested at times, but uh, we've come through it and we're happy. Well, she's, um, yeah. she's followed you here to the bend today, so you couldn't have gone too far well, wrong, John. Uh, actually, she did three laps in a Mustang supercar the other day, driving it, and yeah. I think she wanted to trade me in on the, uh, co the co-pilot, but uh, no, I think she saw the light and stuck with me. So There you go, mate. Fantastic, the, yeah. Now, these old vehicles, uh, look, it's... Uh, it's the camaraderie, isn't it? It's the excitement that we all get out of them and turning up at events like this, and especially this one being very special. John, when we look inside this vehicle, just like back in the day, there's no custom work. It's how it would have been. It's, it's just beautiful. Yeah, although, Fletch, we did tailor make this one. We put uh, armrest on the doors. That was available in the specials just to make it easier to shut the doors and just more comfortable to drive. Yep. Uh, apart from that, um, it's pretty well stocked and it's comfortable seats and yep. and we put seat belts in it for safety yep. but apart from that yep. it's pretty well stocked yeah before i let you go engine wise mechanically what have you done up front oh it's a stock stock 132 bored out with oversized pistons because that's all you can buy piston rings and pistons that size pretty well stock um obviously we fitted a, a power booster because we tow a caravan and we need to stop yep. and the other thing which sort of irks a few of the uh, hardcore people is that we put a 12 volt system on it simply because we tow a caravan and that's got a 12 volt supply so you, you want to see it at night too right yeah, that's yeah. right exactly <laughs> and and it's amazing like the thing will start first kick and it's just just a much more sensible approach when you're driving an old vehicle like this and um, and with so many vehicles we can chop ch put that battery in all of our vehicles so it's yeah. it's quite good in that respect yeah yep. well john Good on you and your lovely wife there, Chris, for turning up for the uh, the final Raw, the yeah, Holden nice. tribute here at the Bend for 2021. It's people like yourselves and vehicles like this that make this event what it is. So oh, yeah. thanks again, John. Yep. Thanks very much, Fletch. Really appreciate your interest. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Every weekend around Australia, motoring enthusiasts get together to share their passion for cars and bikes. It's a passion that brings us together. All sorts of people, all sorts of cars and bikes. From the classics of today to the classics of tomorrow. At Shannon's, we understand enthusiasts. So when it comes to insurance, it's gotta be Shannon's. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. And of course, if you own a classic, it just has to be insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646 and have a discussion regarding the policy and premium that may suit you best. Doesn't matter if you have a bike, car or a truck, the Shannon's team awaits you. And joining the Shannon's club has never been easier. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. Time now for an original 1964 EH Prem. How are you, Rex? Good, thanks, Fletch. One thing about classic cars, they don't all have to be $150,000 show cars or plus. What we have here, we've got an honest, original old car, don't we? Yep, certainly do. Okay, so, all right, we look at this EH, and what a score. Uh, any EH is great to have. It's got a little bit of rust in the doors. It's had a, it's had a, a respray a while ago, um, but... 
what comes with this car, obviously, is a lot of history as well, Rex, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It was owned by a local doctor uh, from Semaphore in South Australia uh, in 1964. I can remember this car as a, as a teenager driving around the district, seeing this brand new EH Premier driving around and being very envious. And then, uh, fortunately, 40-odd years later, I was able to buy it. What, a, what an impact on your mind it must have had, like, all those years ago. It, it stayed with you. You were almost just meant to get this car. Well, maybe. Maybe that was the case. But I was certainly very pleased to, to get it after remembering the car as in, its, as in its new state. And then I bought it 20, 21 years ago. And what were you uh, driving at the time? I had an FJ. I was a, about 18 year old driving around an FJ and being very envious of the, the local doctor <laughs> and his brand new EH Premier. Do you uh, wish now you still had the FJ? I certainly do. I could just imagine though, the FJ with its 50s styling, with the higher roof line, the higher bonnet line, the EH came along. It was lower to the ground, sleeker looking. It must have been a, an incredible transition period back then for a young bloke to, to see that EH. I can remember going when the EJs brought the Premier out and going to the local Holden dealer and opening the door and smelling the leather and seeing the carpet on the floor and wondering how can cars get any more luxurious. This is just out of the world after the old vinyl seats and rubber floor mats of an FJ. They're great memories Rex, aren't they? Fantastic memories, yeah. Yeah. You see, you can't get those memories really from a textbook in terms of your own your own memories. That's That just goes deep, doesn't it? It certainly does, certainly does, yeah. Okay, now, in the time you've had the car, uh, which is how long have you had it? 21 years. Okay, 21 years. And in that time, what have you had to do to it? Uh, I had the, the, the original hydromatic transmission. A lot of them changed them over to trimatics, but I was... Uh, uh, definitely wanted to keep it original so I had the hydromatic rebuilt about seven or eight years ago uh, and I've had a full motor rebuild on it. I've done 128,000 original miles when I bought it and it was starting to get a little bit smoky so I had a full engine rebuild about three years ago so it's back to original specifications. Good on your Rex, you're here with uh, your wife over there, Denise as well. That's right, yep. yes that's right Fletch. Yep. Yep. This is nice isn't it, getting out and about and enjoying this while we can. All right, uh, I'll I'll end it there before we uh, it starts flogging down with rain. Rex, it's been an it's been an absolute pleasure, Rex. Okay, thanks, Fletch. Thanks very much. Thanks, mate. Thank Thank Ta. What a special part of this whole event. Ten selected cars are about to do a parade lap here at the Bend. One of these cars is Warren. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How are you, Fletch? Good. Good. Yourself? Yeah, great. Fantastic. Mate, getting ready to go out? Yeah, pumped. Isn't that good, eh? Oh, it's fantastic. What's the feeling? Oh, I think there's a, a, a really a good feeling of com camaraderie and uh, a little bit of uh, sense of obligation, if you like, or yeah. responsibility. You know, we're about to do something that uh, not too many other people have, uh, get the opportunity to do. So, yes. fantastic. We're just down from turn 17 here. The cars are parking up. Uh, the weather here, wow, it's been a fantastic day considering the weather has been pretty bad on and off. The chamois are out. They're getting the cars ready. Uh, got to pick on you here, Warren, with this car. Four-door, HK. It's just an amazing-looking car. What's the story with this? So I came across this car about 18 months ago. I've been looking for something to cruise in with my family and I called on a customer of mine. I'm a builder and it happened to be sitting in his shed and... Um, the rest is history. We did a bit of a deal and um, you know, the history of the car is quite um, interesting in itself. Um, it doesn't look like it's had a hard life, Warren. No, I believe that it's only had four owners and me being the fourth. Uh, it's an Albury uh, car, so it's a, a Fisherman's Bend car that was um, uh, Preston Motors in Albury, yeah. de dealer delivered. And um, it got, a, I think from what I understand, it got about a year's worth of use yeah. and then it sat in a driveway for 26 years. These are the fines, aren't they? But how, how beautiful is this car? We're rear Venetian blind, four wheel covers, a 186. It, it's an unmolested car. We it's, call it's it a Z-Par car, a grandpa car. Yeah. You know, we, uh, we stick the bowler hat on it. We'll, uh, you know, nice sunny night in Adelaide and we'll go down the, down the Esplanade for a cruise. Yeah, fantastic. Really good times, isn't it? Warren, I'll let you get back to it, mate. Enjoy your parade lap. Fantastic. Thank you, Fletch. A delightful original 1950 FX Holden. Hello, Kim. Hello, Fletch. How are you, mate? Very good, thank you. How's it feel to own something as original as this? Yeah, it's uh, between my brother and uh, Gary and myself. It's been uh, quite a um, mentally 
beneficial for both of us, uh, and it's been good for 30 years. Yeah. And really enjoyed today, though. And it's good to see your uh, your younger brother with you here today. He is my older brother. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, it's been. Uh, he's the one that drove it up from Adelaide, had the challenge uh, while I was staying up at uh, the caravan park. But uh, he survived, and the car survived, and we enjoyed the uh, track experience uh, uh, under challenging conditions with a wet uh, track. But it was good. It's it's been quite a day. Love this car, complete with its its cheese cutter tyres, <laughs> yes. back from 1950 in all its exuberance with its waterfall grill and. Uh, a restoration done a while ago, Kim? Yeah, before we bought it, we believe, uh, back probably pre-1990. Uh, we bought it locally here, but we think it's come from the west coast of South Australia and uh, on the Air Peninsula, and uh, it was done up then, and we've just uh, upgraded the mechanicals, uh, updated the oil leaks and so forth uh, to make it serviceable. Isn't it amazing when we hear stories from many, many decades ago when these cars weren't so old and uh, the conditions here, uh, regional Australia with corrugated roads and uh, a lot of dirt roads and um, cars like this have got up the top of Cape York and back. Yes, uh, they, we think they're fragile but uh, they used to do this regularly and uh, the reason we got this car was because our dad used to have these, these cars when he first started his taxi business and uh, yes, th they certainly took some punishment from all types of drivers and uh, they survived amazingly. Well Kim, it's been a pleasure uh, having a chat with you and uh, as I said earlier, it's nice to see uh, your brother here as well, uh, your younger brother. <laughs> and. Um, <clears throat> it's great to see this uh, example here. Lead the way on the parade lap. I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than that. Yes, no, we were, we was, once we were asked to do this, I couldn't pass it up because it was just a, a great memory for the family, for all of us. And uh, I certainly thank you for showing interest and I've enjoyed your shows over the years and uh, I hope I'm still keep enjoying them too. Well, thank you, Kim. And I, I think also too, it's a big thanks to uh, for General Motors Australia for having a, a major part in this for this week weekend here and uh, even even Marty here yep. uh, on the grounds here at the bend uh, it's been a fantastic day and yes. I'm glad that you're uh, you've been a part of that yeah it's been really good and uh, I do wish to thank everybody it was really good, yeah, good on you. all right thanks Kim thanks Fletch good you're, to see you you're welcome thanks mate cheers well Holden may have ended on the last shape but this episode ended on the first shape the final raw Holden tribute. I hope that you enjoyed it. And the Bend Motorsport Park here in South Australia was the perfect venue. No matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannons, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannons Club, your local Holden certified service centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online.